Okay, so I'm back from a quick trip to the Mutt Motorcycle HQ in Birmingham. So I thought I'd just share a little bit about kind of what I saw, what I discussed while I was there, and a little video montage of uh, what the place looks like. So yeah, I went up to um, Mutt motorcycles in Birmingham. Fortunately it was raining a lot um, but the reason I went there was to kind of have a look in person at the various different motorcycle versions that they have. As I mentioned in a previous video they're all pretty much the same just various different customizations and colours and I wanted to be able to try out um, a, a fat Sabbath with the knobbly tyres on to decide if I can kind of get on with those or not. Um, it's a really nice kind of place. It's actually just behind um, the Tesla dealership in uh, Digbeth, Birmingham that I've been to before. Didn't know it was it was there. And uh, yeah, when I got there, um, Benny, who is the I think he's the owner um, of most circles, was in reception. So we ended up having quite a long chat, maybe about half an hour or so, talking about kind of a bit about the history of Mutt, about you know where it came from with the custom motorcycles up to where it is now. Still, I think they still are doing some custom bikes, but obviously the the high turnover is on these, um, you know, the, the Muck Mongrels and the Fat Sabbaths and the Hilts and all this kind of stuff. So, had a chat about those. Then we had a, um, a chat about the Fat Sabbath specifically. I spoke about um, whether it's best to buy from them or from a dealer. They said there's really no preference from their perspective and um, they actually recommend that you, know, you establish a good relationship with your dealer which is, I think is really good. I think lots of companies would perhaps rather have you buy from them directly because obviously their margins are bigger so they make more money uh, but he wasn't like that whatsoever which is really good. Uh, they've got a shop there and a little cafe and all that kind of thing but we had a, a good chat also about um, kind of how the bikes have been developed over time and the improvements that have been they've been making. So I mentioned to him that I've been looking at some second hand bikes, you know, one, two years old. So we're talking about the the differences uh, between them. Specifically we looked at the Fat Sabbath, but a lot of the stuff applies to, across um the range. So I don't know if I spoke about this uh, in the previous video, but basically what they do at uh, Mutt is they have um these bike frames um, they get shipped over uh, from China. The engines in them are basically a Suzuki GN125. I think they're made in the same factory um, to some slightly different tonnages based on motorcycles requirements. And then when the bikes arrive in this country, they basically change the wheels, change the tires, change the indicators, change the handlebars, change the speedo. Um, change the firmware on the ECU, they put different seats on, different tanks and paint. So basically they, they change a lot of it and it's purely cosmetic. So even Benny said himself, like with the knobbly tyres, they're on there because they look cool. They're not, it doesn't give you the best smoothest ride but it looks damn cool and that's really what it's all about. So it's about giving new bikers that kind of introduction to the biking world but on something that is kind of custom and, that, and you are paying a bit of a premium for that. So yeah so when we spoke about the Fat Sabbath um, specifically about some of the improvements so like the 2019 model has um, now a speedo again it's a small speedo not everyone likes it they've done away with um, the indicator uh, not indicator lights so they're still in the vehicle the indicator symbols so you can see the indicators are on and stuff like that so it's all much more smaller um, and again I guess more it looks nicer the housing that the speedo sits in has got a little um, motorcycles logo on it um, they've changed the mounts for the indicators so they are machined aluminium that they do in-house because there were, I think there's some issues with the machine the build quality wasn't very good on the indicators before um, also uh, machined uh, the caps for the oil filters and stuff like that. Um, a new sump guard on the Fat Sabbath. 
um, new housings that um, the um, the front light sits on. Just basic little uh, iterative improvements that they're consistently making to, I guess, improve build quality and the styling and stuff. Um, also mentioned about uh, improved ECU for throttle response and stuff on the 2019 model. Um, so basically it kind of confirmed to me that these aren't showstoppers or anything like that. Reasons not to buy a, a, a second hand one. That's, most of them have got quite pretty low mileage. I guess because people get them and then obviously move on to something bigger. But I decided I'd pay that extra for those improvements and I really wanted one if possible with the speed of miles per hour and I think this has little improvements make it worth it for me. And also since doing my initial research and deciding I wanted a motorcycle, I think I might end up keeping it anyway. So even if, so I think one or two things is going to happen. I'm going to keep it and then do my test and perhaps don't even get a bigger bike because when I try a bigger bike, it doesn't compare uh, like I wanted to to my Vora, which I'm considering selling and then using that money to get a bigger bike. Um, and then maybe I just keep this mutt anyway, if it's just kind of nice, enjoyable, fun thing to ride. So yeah, so whilst I was there, then I took out uh, a Fat Sabbath um, on the road. It was one that they've actually recently changed the, the normally tyres on the 2019 model. So they are uh, slightly better for road use, so less, less knobbly. Um, but I tried an older one that had the old, um, more knobbly tyres on. So if, if that was fine with me, then the new ones would be uh, perfect. So unfortunately, it was absolutely lashing it down in rain when I ran out. So just a few laps around the block. Uh, it took a f about a minute, I think, to kind of get used to the, the different... Uh, ride and bear in mind the only bike I've been riding before this is that Honda um, 125 so very different but I was really impressed with how smooth the gear change was how smooth the clutch was and the throttle response it was so much better than the Honda bike that I've been doing my learning on now that's probably I guess because um, that Honda bike's been trashed and dropped and all sorts of stuff so I don't know if it's the Honda, I don't know if it's a Honda thing. I think it's more about the age and how that bike has been treated more than anything else. But basically confirmed to me that yes, um, I wanted to get um, one of these bikes. Um, and so when I left, I actually popped to Midwest Motor, which is my closest um, muck dealer and ordered a 2019 Fat Sabbath 125 and they haven't had one in stock which is why I can get it so quickly on Saturday. Um, so yeah, but no, I really enjoyed it. Um, really nice people so far. Everyone I've met so far in the motorcycle business seem really friendly. I think I think because people see them with the visors on, actually, I think it depersonalizes people and actually when you get to speak to them, it's a real friendly bunch of people. So looking forward to kind of being part of that community. Um, but yeah, I'll leave you with a little video montage of um, what it looks like at Motorcycles HQ. Uh, but thanks to everybody there. Um, I picked up actually some Mutt uh, Motorcycle kind of summer gloves as well. So I was looking for some lighter weight gloves and they had some nice ones there. Um, but yeah, that was it. Really good trip uh, up to Birmingham. Really friendly people. Thanks, Benny. Thanks, everyone else. And uh, the only thing I've noticed uh, on that 2019 model that the one I'm getting doesn't have is this little... Uh, it's kind of... A bit of metal styling on the the one side of the bike. It's not a big deal. I have asked Mutt if that's something that I can get or not. Uh, and also the the Fat Sabbath doesn't have any um, Mutt decals on, like um, some of the other ones, like the hilts and stuff. So, um, yeah, I have asked him if it's possible to get some of those so I can put them on. I think it would be quite good matte black paintwork with matte black decals on you can't really see very well but are there i think it might look kind of cool so if not um then i might um see if i can replicate some of my own with my cricket vinyl cutter
watching this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.